Inside AT&T Stadium, Big 12 Media Days, Tony Caridi along with Neil Brown. He's fresh off the podium. You just gave your general press conference. You have been always very good at addressing topics before the actual questions start as to what you want to get off of your mind. And you began today with uh, West Virginia's placement in the preseason poll. Talk a little bit about your thoughts on that and how you've dealt with that with the team. Uh, well, we dealt with it head on, you know. Uh, we had a team meeting. I was on vacation uh, the week previous when it came out. Team meeting on Tuesday, and we brought it up. And we brought it up in a way that said, hey, this is what's out here. This is lazy reporting. This is why it's lazy reporting. And this is why not only do I believe in myself, our staff, but also the systems we have in place. And most importantly, we believe in you, the player. And and I started. I went down. I, I listed probably a little more colorful, like I said, and a little more colorful in the team meeting. But – if you look at we've 132 starts on the offensive line, and if you're good on the offensive line, you got a chance to win a lot of football games. Our running back room's deep. We're going to be really athletic at quarterback. I think we're going to get the best quarterback we've played in, in play that we've had in five years. Uh, our receiver group is remade, but it's it's made in the fact that we've got size and experience, and then we've got some speed, and that's what we were really missing was the speed aspect on defensively. We've got an all-league player at each level, Sean Martin, Lee Coba, Aubrey Burks. We went, our, our weakness last year was in secondary. We're very aware of that. We went out and added two all-conference players and guys that have all started double-digit games. And so that's going to be a much improved group. And, so, and then our specialists, I think we have the best long snapper in the country. Our punters got a chance to be an all-conference player. And we use scholarships on returners. And so the, the feeling in our building is that we're going to be much better. And the best way to deal with it is just address it right up front. What was your sense that you got from the team as you were giving them the facts and the figures? Yeah, this is a group that has confidence, right? And, and the, there's a chip on our shoulder because of how we performed last year. But there's also some confidence of how we finished, you know, beating Oklahoma, beating Oklahoma State on the road. You know, and a lot of these guys that are returning are played leading roles in, in those games. And so there is a confidence that this team has. There's a hunger that this team has. And what that poll did was that just made it, you know, I talked about it had a chip on the shoulder. That might be a rock now, you know, that's and, – and I think it's going to be a good thing in the long run because I can tell you we had, a, we had a team run right after that and guys were competing. They were getting after it. What is the most pressing issue you want to resolve in August camp? Well, I think if you start this – but go by phase. Is offensively, we've got to continue to work on our explosive pass game. And – the quarterback position, I think, will clear up. You know, somebody will go win that job. That won't necessarily be a decision that I make. Either Garrett or Nico will go win that job. Um, we got to see who's going to be the most consistent at receiver. On defense, we got to figure out what the rotation is going to be at D-line. We've got bodies, but who's made that jump from spring ball to fall camp? And then, you know, who's going to step up a Will linebacker? You know, that's probably as big a question as we have in our program is who's going to step up and fill that role. We have several guys that are, that are candidates for that. And then I'm looking forward to watching the, the secondary gel. You know, we're going to be much improved, not only with the transfers, but the guys that are here, uh, Jacoby Spells and Andrew Wilson-Lamp and Marcus Floyd. Those guys are going to be significantly better when we lace it up against Penn State compared to when we finish versus Oklahoma State. You know, it's a classic West Virginia setup when West Virginians are told something they're not supposed to be able to do, normally good things happen. Yeah, we look forward to proving them wrong. You know, it's like we've said this a lot. You either prove them right or prove them wrong. And this is going to be a football team that is going to prove the media here in the Big 12 wrong in a lot of ways. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks.